the pool session is a great opportunity for the candidates to see the practical side of the theory that we have just been through in the classroom. Typically I like to divide the session into a 90 minute session and a 100 minute session. Any longer than that the candidates tend to lose focus. Having a break after 90 minutes doing some question and answer tends to revitalize the group. Typically the first session we look at is bringing in some 9 to 12 year olds uh, while you're taking some question and answers or getting the group together normally like the 9 to 12 year olds to do some sort of basic dry land activation session uh, normally the candidates are reasonably interested in that and what they uh, can take and implement into their program. I tend to only use one or two swimmers uh, that just helps with control of the group and I have to spend too long explaining what the swimmers are doing. Normally run through uh, the four strokes development, drills, uh, pointing out areas of good technique, areas of technique that can be improved. Also spend some time on working on starts and turn development, particularly the individual medley turns. Candidates normally have a number of questions around about this time. Uh, and then also have a discussion with the candidates about the important development of individual medley and the two, importance of the 200 individual medley in the competition. The second session I like to bring in some older swimmers. Again they do a 10 to 20 minute dry land activation uh, session with some basic exercises and minimal equipment. We then look at uh, doing some training sets uh, interval training, uh, we look at stroke counts, pacing, descending sets, uh, reducing rest on interval training, um, we look at uh, negative splitting and even splitting repeats. While the swimmers are performing the sets I talk to the candidates about which energy systems are being used and what energy systems they think they're being used as the intensity, the volume, and the rest uh, changes looking at what type of set they think when we're doing sprint sets or a high range aerobic sets. The sort of drills that the swimmers are doing are typically training based drills like band only pull or a vertical kick. Um, these are not necessarily skill but based drills but drills to um, assist in the physical development of the swimmer. Uh, we look at race modelling, um, we look at stroke counts, splits, stroke rates, turn times, um, measuring things such as hand touch to feet leave. Again the goal is to take the theoretical component and put it into a pool so that they can understand the practical side of the information they've been given earlier. Also talk about basic test sets, but some of the swimmers, not necessarily all of them, through all the sets of simple basic test sets like 200 kick for time, 400 time trial, kilometer time trial. They always do the mini max efficiency test set and explain its use uh, and its usefulness uh, to a coach tend to really try to encourage uh, questions and answers especially through the uh, end of this session so that the candidates can voice issues that they have and suggest answers for them. Um, generally the water session is the most popular out of all the sessions and the candidates get the most information from. In summary, this is a suggestion on how to present a bronze license course from a presenter that has presented at this level for over 20 years. I hope you find it useful. Thank you.